Hello, I'd like to welcome you to this presentation. My name's Stuart O'Donoghue. Today we'll be looking at the new features in Jet Reports 2010. Today's presentation should suit existing users of Jet Reports. You'll see the new features in this version, as well as people new to Jet Reports who will see some of the reporting capabilities of the product. For those of you new, who are new to Jet Reports, I'll give you a brief overview of the product's capabilities. Basically, it's a reporting tool that is an add-in to Excel, so it's actually run from within Excel. It's got connectors that connect to the NAV database um, to give you your data, and um, you build on your existing Excel functions with uh, several new functions that uh, come as part of the Jet Report package. So the new, fe new features that are in Jet Reports 2010 are that uh, it contains a feature called Snippets, and they're an area where you can save bits of code or any other parts of um, um, jet reports that you may have developed yourself. Things like dates and things like that you can keep in snippets and share. It's got favourites tables and fields that you can mark down uh, certain ones as your favourites and, and then you don't have as many to filter through when you're trying to develop a new report. You can personalise your drill down and this just gives you your own personal view of that. If you drill down, you may only want to see a, 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 an amount and a, and a document number on a, on a general ledger drill down, for instance. And you, you can customise that to you as you re require. It has a new feature called Table Queries, which I'll show you soon. And it also gives you a distribution of um, the reports in now in Adobe PDF format. What I've done today is I've included a video, which I'll be showing you in a minute, from the Jet Reports website that uh, explains those features in, in greater detail. So I'll just um, play that video now for you. In this video, I'll give you an overview of the new tools and features in Jet Reports 2010. First, Let's take a look at the latest compatibilities for operating systems and Microsoft Office. Notably, Jet Reports 2010 is now compatible with both the 32 and 64 bit versions of Excel 2010. Let's now take a look at Jet Reports 2010 inside of Excel. The first updates you'll notice are in the Wizard section of the Jet ribbon. For starters, the Report Builder is now available for all database types. As you recall from Jet 2009, the Report Builder is a wizard that lets you combine data from multiple areas of your database into well-formatted reports. Next up is the Jet Browser, to which we've made some more enhancements. We've made some subtle changes to the user interface that makes browsing through your database more intuitive and customizable. In Microsoft Dynamics Nav Data Sources, we've added a details bar to display additional information about tables and fields in the browser. We've also added the ability to select certain tables and fields as favorites. Now, with a click of a button, you can select only tables and fields that are important to you and hide everything else. Favorite tables and fields can be applied to the Jet Browser, Jet Function Wizard, and the Report Wizard. You can even share your favorite tables and fields with a colleague to help train and coach them. Next, in the Wizard section of the Jet ribbon is a brand new feature called Snippets. Snippets allows you to save common report parts in Excel logic that you can reuse in other reports. It's like a permanent clipboard for your Excel logic. Simply open the Snippets window and drag and drop the desired snippet into the worksheet. Snippets are also easy to share, so you can make them available to colleagues or download them from the collection on our community site. Now let's move to the formula section of the Jet Ribbon, where we'll find an old friend, the drill down. In Jet Reports 2010, we've given the drill down a complete makeover. The new grid view for the drill down allows you to personalize the drill down into your data on the fly. In the new drill down, you'll be able to set filters, group data, choose the order of the fields, choose which fields show, and much more. For Dynamics Nav users who would like to take advantage of the new grid drill down, you can choose this option in the drill down section of the data source settings. In the report tool section of the Jet ribbon, we find that the scheduler has a new output option that allows you to distribute your reports in Adobe PDF format. PDF provides a safe and secure format for sharing knowledge inside and between organizations. 
Next up in the Settings section of the Jet Ribbon, let's take a look at the changes we've made to the Application Settings and the Data Source Settings screens. We've updated the user interface for both of these screens to create a more intuitive experience. Most notably in the Data Source Settings, you'll see that we've broken out the functionality into two tabs, File and Data Sources. Use the File tab to add, edit, import, and export your data sources. Use the Data Sources tab to configure each individual data source. Finally, let's talk about a new feature that we've added to the NL function which provides a simple way to download data tables into Excel. By using the NL table function, you can effortlessly create complete data tables in Excel, all formatted and ready to go. You'll now be able to create pivot tables and charts from downloaded data to spot trends and perform ad hoc analysis. Best of all, by running the report, all associated pivot table and chart information will update automatically to display the latest data. That's all for this video. We hope you enjoyed learning about some of the exciting new features in Jet Reports 2010. Don't forget to check out the other tutorial videos that go into more depth about many of the features that we covered here. Thanks for watching. Well, I hope you enjoyed that video presentation. The features that I really like in the new version of JET are the snippets, particularly. Now, with those snippets, as, as I said in the presentation, you can go to jetreports.com and download some standard snippets there, and they'll give you an idea of the sort of things you can do with snippets as well. You could use them as uh, headings as well, like you might have corporate headings that you want all, all the reports to have you know, date in the top right hand corner, logo in the left or something like that and uh, you can create a snippet for those report headings and just include those in each report and, and just change the name. If you ever come up with some clever code you can also make that a snippet and, and save that and you can also have some quick start snippets that allow you to quickly generate reports to start off with and then you might um, um, filter on, on them or put some other uh, other redeeming features in to make them different to the other ones but uh, it's a good quick start for um, doing new reports. Now those snippets they're also available to share with your colleagues so you can actually build a corporate library of these snippets uh, over time so everybody saves their clever code and, and uh, other parts in there and uh, everybody can share those in the organization. And the distribution of reports, the older versions of JET could always distribute reports. And it's one of the features that I really like in JET reports as well, because it gives you the ability to schedule reports to run at certain times, uh, usually at night. And um, after the report's been produced, you, have an e you can have an emailing list and send those out to a group of people. So that's a feature that you don't find in the standard uh, NAV product. So it's a really good feature um, for Jet Reports to have to supplement the reporting from the uh, standard NAV. Those reports as well that you can run overnight can also you can make them exception reports. So there could be some data in there that uh, you know if if a uh, certain value a KPI has got to a certain level, then that report gets sent. So you could have a you know a low sales margin report sent you know if there were any sales made that day with low margins so there's a lot of good things you can do with those uh, re uh, the distribution of the reports and i think that the pdf format of those only enhances the ability to you know get it to more people and have the uh, the, the values in there so they aren't uh, changed or altered by the, the recipients so a couple of really good features there i think I'd just like to thank you for attending today's presentation as well. I hope you learned something new. And uh, if you need any more information, don't forget you can just contact your account manager and just ask them um, for any information. They may be able to provide you. They've got access to uh, different um, brochures, etc. If it's just that level of I extra information you want or if you want further demonstration or to speak to a consultant, they can arrange to have someone contact you as well. So thank you again for um, today's presentation and uh, I'll speak to you next time. My name's Stuart O'Donoghue. Thanks.